At long last, I will be perfect! The Life of Cell Explained The being known as Cell or Perfect Cell. He is one of the most intriguing villains in the DBZ universe. This time-hopping android is rather resourceful with an over-urging motive to become perfect by all means necessary, which makes him one of the most notorious villains in the series. Here at NerdLerd.com, we wanted to give you guys a brief history into the life of Cell. So get your popcorn ready and charge your android phones at full power. Here we go! Now before we can get into Cell, we must first etch out the events following into his life, starting with Freezer. After being defeated by Goku and surviving his own destruction on planet Namek, Freezer and his father, King Cold, head to Earth to exact revenge on Goku. Before he could do this, a young mysterious man confronts him. We will later find out that this is Trunks, well, the future version of him. He quickly dismantles Freezer and his father and heads to the location where Goku is set to arrive. Now meeting Goku for the first time, Trunks reveals why he's here. After informing Goku that he traveled from the future to warn him about two dangerous androids that is set to be released on Earth a few years from now, he sets off back into his time machine and leaves Goku and the others to prepare for this new threat. Three years pass, and now Goku and the Z Fighters gather to the city where Trunks said the androids would appear. Being completely unaware of the inability to sense the android's power level, Android 20 sneaks up and causes tragedy on Yamcha, leaving him with a fatal gaping wound to the chest. Being alerted by Yamcha's plead for help, Goku and the Z Fighters rushes to Yamcha's aid and leads the androids out of the city and onto a small island nearby. Goku then decides that he wants to take on androids 19 and 20 by himself. He turns up the heat and transforms into a Super Saiyan and directs his rage at Android 19. Strangely enough, this new manifestation of power did not seem to phase Android 20. It was a complete surprise, but it wasn't sufficient to warrant a sense of fear. The reason being, the androids anticipated a power increase in the Saiyan before deciding to confront him. The emblem that the androids wear is that of an army that Goku defeated as a child. This army was called the Red Ribbon Army. Dr. Jiro, who was the leader of this military, wanted vengeance on this kid, so he followed Goku in the form of a small drone and observed the Saiyans' conflict throughout the years. This drone was there when Goku entered into the World Martial Arts Tournament as a kid. It was there when Goku fought Piccolo. It was also there when Vegeta and Nappa came to Earth. And it was even there when Trunks sliced Freezer in half. Throughout these events, it was retrieving the DNA of all the villains that Goku came up against. Since Dr. Juro saw this Super Saiyan form in Trunks, he already anticipated a power level of that magnitude and tallied that into his androids. Now as Goku clashes with 19, the heart virus which Trunks said Goku would have manifests itself in the fight and drains the Saiyan of his Super Saiyan power, leaving him at the complete mercy of 19. Luckily for him, Vegeta steps in and shows to everyone that he too is a Super Saiyan. After quickly destroying Android 19, Android 20 retreats into another location. This is where we find out that this android isn't just an android, he's Dr. Jiro. Future Trunks comes back, and he is entirely unaware of androids 19 and 20. These androids did not exist in his timeline. We later find out that Dr. Jiro has androids 17 and 18 in his laboratory. They quickly kill Jiro after he releases them. These are the SOBs in Trunks' timeline. It was soon revealed that another android was created, Android 16. This android also did not exist in the future timeline. So what did Trunks do to cause this amount of change? Could it be that he showed his Super Saiyan self prematurely when he defeated Freezer? Or was it when he gave Goku the cure to the heart virus that is currently inflicting him now? No, it wasn't a thing. It was a person. Trunks, Bulma, and Gohan discovers another time machine in a secluded location. But it wasn't another time machine. It was the exact one that Trunks uses. Well, this is a conundrum. How is it possible that two identical time machines are in the same place, but only one was created in Trunks' future? We later find out that Dr. Jiro was cooking up a rather insidious creature for everyone on the planet. Trunks and Krillin head to Dr. Jiro's secret basement and discover another android in the form of a fetus that was set to be released 24 years from now. He already had all of the cells he needed to grow to full size. This android was Cell. Krillin and Trunks destroy Cell and the basement. But going back to the second time machine, the person who used this was Cell. Well, future Cell. Well, no, let's just say further future Cell. This version of Cell comes from an alternate timeline that is fogged in mystery. This Cell manages to encounter a version of Trunks, which we will call further future Trunks, who he kills and takes the time machine and travels back one year before Freezer shows up on Earth. 
In this timeline, it seems as though further future Trunks somehow managed to destroy the androids and was heading back into the past to inform the others of the good news. Unaware of Cell, he was quickly overpowered and killed. Further future Cell then hops into the time machine and reverts into his cocoon stage and presses the button to go back into the past. This version of Cell was already there as future Trunks in the timeline that we do know of first showed up. This is the Cell that caused a massive aberration within the present timeline. An example, Dr. Jiro was never an android in the future, and Android 19 and 16 did not exist. Plus, Android 17 and 18 were much stronger than their future versions in Trunks' timeline. This was the cause of such a significant change. Cell is a biological android created through the cells of warriors, such as Piccolo, the Saiyans, and Freezer, and his father. His whole objective is to become perfect. This is the only thing that motivates him. Cell was created to be the ultimate warrior. He gets stronger when absorbing humans through his tail. But humans are not enough for him to become perfect. He needs to incorporate Android 17 and 18 for that. Now, looking on the entrenched conflict that Piccolo is having with Android 17, Cell seizes his moment and absorbs 17 into himself, causing a transformation that boosts his power on a whole new level. Sensing that Cell is moments away from achieving his perfection, Android 16 and 18 flee the scene and retreat to a secluded island. Meanwhile, Vegeta and Trunks step out of the hyperbolic time chamber and head directly towards this new form of Cell. Vegeta then turns himself into a Super Saiyan Ascended and easily dismantles Cell. Desiring a better bout, Vegeta allows Cell to locate Android 18. This leads to Trunks going against Vegeta, which gives Cell the time he needs to become perfect. After absorbing 18, his goal was finally achieved. His power begins to permeate throughout the galaxies. With this new evolution, Vegeta's attacks have little to no effect on Cell anymore, and this leads to Cell overwhelming the Saiyan Prince, giving him an instant blow directly to his back. This causes Vegeta to become unconscious. Seeing this, Trunks charges up his strength to full power, but this form proves to be a burden. Even though he has now become more powerful than Cell, the muscles in this form slow him down, which makes him unable to land a punch, rendering this form useless against the biological android. Being bored with this battle, Cell sets a tournament that will determine the fate of the world. This causes the Z Fighters to go into training and prepare for the upcoming event. Goku and Gohan emerge from the hyperbolic time chamber in their Super Saiyan form. Somehow, they manage to make their Super Saiyan form be their natural state, and if when needed, can increase their power which will make them many times stronger than what they were. The Cell games arrive, and Goku is the first up. The battle between the two becomes a hurricane of power that shakes the planet to its core. Goku puts up an admirable fight, but he forfeits and directs Cell at his next challenger, Gohan. An 11-year-old versus a creature that is more ominous than anything he has encountered in his life. The reason behind this is that Goku wanted Gohan to see how Cell moved in combat, giving him an edge. The battle drags, and it seems as though Cell isn't taking this seriously. It is not only when Cell pushes Gohan that the realization of prodding the young Saiyan changes the dynamics of the battle. The accumulation of all the villains that Gohan had faced accumulated to this very moment. This power was itching to be released from the time of Nappa all the way to Freezer, but it couldn't be initiated without the right training and an emotional circumstance for it to go into full motion. Because of this, the Half Saiyan achieved Super Saiyan 2, which easily decimates the Cell Juniors. Now oppressing Cell with this tremendous power, Cell regurgitates Android 18, reverting him back to his second form. With this consternation, this leads to Cell deciding to self-destruct. But just as he was about to do it, Goku uses instant transmission and teleports him off the planet, killing himself along with Cell. In the midst of the explosion, a single Cell survived from that. The maniacal android reconstituted himself from it, which increased his power near a Super Saiyan 2. This was now Super Perfect Cell. Absorbing the ability to do instant transmission, he then teleports back on Earth and releases the biggest Kamehameha the planet has ever seen. Gohan, in turn, responds with that same attack while being injured. Collectively, the Z Fighters fight together. Just when things look like it's going in Cell's favor, Vegeta does a surprise attack, distracting Cell long enough for Gohan to expel the last residue of his Super Saiyan power in a final attack, which consumes the android, thereby bringing peace to the present timeline for several years. Well, this was a long story. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like and share it with your friends. Be sure to check out our store, nerdlerd.com. Until next time, see ya!